Wentworth Club location in England The 10th Ryder Cup matches were held to October 3, 1953 at Wentworth Club in Virginia Water, Surrey, England, west of London. The United States team won its sixth consecutive competition by a score of 6.5 to 5.5 points. The Ryder Cup is a match play event, with each match worth one point. From 1927 through 1959, the format consisted of four foursome matches on the first day and eight singles matches on the second day, for a total of 12 points. Therefore, six and a half points were required to win the cup. All matches were played to a maximum of 36 holes. Source, the British team was selected by the tournament committee of the PGA with power to add to their numbers. In January 1953 Henry Cotton was chosen as captain and was co-opted onto the selection committee. In mid-August a group of 17 was announced from which the team would be chosen. This consisted of the eventual team of 10 plus Cotton, Tom Halliburton, Jack Hargreaves, Sam King, Arthur Lees, Norman Sutton, and Charlie Ward. John Jacobs was later added to the list. Cotton withdrew from consideration for medical reasons. The PGA arranged a series of trial matches at Wentworth starting on 23rd of September with the team announced on 26th of September. The American team was announced in early August, after the 1953 All-American Open. The 1952 and 1953 winners of the PGA Championship received automatic places. The remaining eight members of the team were decided using a points-based system. Ben Hogan and Dutch Harrison qualified but declined their invitations. They were replaced Dave Douglas and Fred Haas, the next two in the points list. In the middle two matches the American pairs won easily after being 8-up and 7-up at lunch. In the first match Douglas and Oliver led by three after three holes of the afternoon round. The British pair reduced the lead to one with six holes to play. Both pairs holes good putts at the 15th but the British pair bogeyed the 16th to be dormy too. Oliver drove out of bounds at the 17th but the British pair took six and the hole was halved. In the final match, Daly and Bradshaw were three up at lunch but lost the first two holes in the afternoon. Daly and Bradshaw's lead increased to three at the turn but then the Americans reduced the lead to one. Bradshaw had some luck at the 16th when his drive hit a spectator and the hole was halved. Middlecoff missed a seven-foot putt at the 17th which would have tied the match. The American pair got a four at the last but Daly hold from three yards to win the match. 18-hole scores, Douglas slash Oliver, 1-up, Mangrum slash Sneed, 8-up, Kroll slash Burke, 7-up, Daly slash Bradshaw, 3-up. The start was delayed by 80 minutes because of missed. At lunch each side was up in three matches with the other two matches level. Reese was ahead after 12 holes of the afternoon round but lost two and one. Daly was six up at lunch and won his match easily. Mangrum had leveled his match against Brown with birdies at the 15th and 16th but Brown finished with two fours to win the match. Sneed was four up at lunch and increased this to five. However he played the last six holes very badly and Wheatman won at the last hole, finishing with two fours. With Middlecoff and Bradshaw winning their matches, the British team needed one and a half points from the remaining two matches to win or a point to tie. The two British players in these matches were 22-year-old Peter Alice and 23-year-old Bernard Hunt. Alice had gone one up at the 14th, but he three-putted the 15th while Ternesa got down in two from a bunker. Alice went out of bounds at the 17th to give Ternesa the lead. Ternesa was in the trees at the last and still short of the green in three. However, Alice, just off the green in two, fluffed his chip, and eventually have the hole in six, to guarantee that the USA would retain the Ryder Cup. In the last match Hunt had won the 12th, 13th, 16th and 17th to be Dormy one. At the last, Hunt's second shot was in the trees on the right but he managed to get his third shot to the back of the green. He putted to four feet and, with Douglas taking five, he needed to hold a putt to win the match. He missed and so the USA won six and a half to five and a half. 18 hole scores, Reese v. Burke, all square, Daly, 6 up, Brown, 2 up, Sneed, 4 up, Middlecoff, 3 up, Ternesa, 1 up, Hunt v. Douglas, all square, Bradshaw, 1 up. Each entry refers to the win-loss half record of the player. Source, in January 1953 the PGA of America received an invitation from the European Golf Association to play a match against a team of European professionals. A match was arranged by the AGA and the French Golf Federation, played at Golf de Saint Cloud, Saint Cloud, Paris on 6 and 7 October. The match consisted of five four ball matches on the first day and ten singles on the second day, all matches over 18 holes. Originally, foursomes matches were planned for the first day but were replaced by four balls. 
Ed Oliver returned to America after the Ryder Cup. He was replaced by PGA officials, Warren Orlick on the first day and Ray Maguire on the second day. The Continental Europe team was Jean-Baptiste Adu, Alfonso Angolini, Georg Bessner, Aldo Cacera, Arthur de Volder, Gerard de Witt, Hugo Grapassini, Marcelino Morsillo, Albert Pellissier, and Francois Sababer. Angel Miguel was originally announced in the team but was replaced by Marcelino Morsillo. The team therefore had three players from France and Italy, and one each from Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands and Spain. Auguste Boyer was the non-playing captain. The leading European golfer, Flory van Donk, did not play. Van Donk had already won four Continental Open Championships in 1953 and two British tournaments. However, the match clashed with the Dunlop Masters which was played on 7 and 8 of October. Van Donk was the only Continental player competing in the limited field of 20. The United States led 4-1 to one after the first day. The Italian pair of Alfonso Angolini and Ugo Grapassini beat Jim Ternesa and Warren Orlick 2-1. On the second day Europe won one match and have two, giving a final score of 12-3. None of the American Ryder Cup team lost, Europe's only win was by Marcelino Morsillo who beat Ray Maguire. Albert Pellissier halved his match against Walter Berkemo while Grapassini also halved against Lloyd Mangrum. From 1954 to 1958 the EGA arranged a similar match between the British Isles and the rest of Europe for the Joy Cup. Thanks for watching.